Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. Today I am going to talk about my strategy for ink pads. Now that I live in a trailer, which has very little space, I've pretty much had to get rid of full-size ink pads. I have examples of two brands here that I carry. In each brand I have every color. And then a new third brand that I'm going to be collecting that I don't have any of the full-size ink pads anymore because I sold them would be the Stampin' Up! Stampin' Spots, but I'll talk about that last. So, my strategy with ink pads now is that I go for either the teardrop or the one-inch storage cubes. So for Memento, which here's the only one I have left is the Tuxedo Black. I use it all the time. I use it for my Copic coloring stamping. So if I put the teardrop size that I bought on top of the pad, I can get three for the space of one. So I thought that was a great win. And then for the Distress Inks, I sold all and I've kept a few. I have a few of the full size left. And I can take, for the same space of one, I can store four. So for me, that was my strategy of trying to get three and four times more colors in the same amount of space, if not less. So then, for the Distress inks that doesn't work for the teardrop, I bought these cases that are Ranger brand cases. Each one holds 12 of the cubes. I have six sets of cubes and they are separated by color. So for example here are my colors that I have three and not all of them are full so as uh, more colors actually it looks like I have seven tins to make up all my colors. And then here's four more green, blue, brown, and yellow orange. A couple of the tins are full. You can see that my green, for instance, is full. And my uh, gray tin has plenty of room left for more. So if, if I do need to uh, combine the colors more, I will do so. For the memento, I went with a different system. I found these trays. There are 36 memento inks. Here is uh, my color sheet. I haven't made a color sheet for the Distress inks. This just was very convenient because it fits in the tray and then underneath are all of my Memento inks. All 36 of them and then some fit in here in one tray and then a tray gets stored in a clear bag that I it fits perfectly beside my couch. So now my third brand, which is the Stampin' Up! that I said I would talk about last. I have another tray right here that has a few of my metallics teardrops, a couple of remnants, um, and then I have already collected some of the Stampin' Up! one-inch cubes because they come in the paper pumpkin subscriptions. I have ordered um, a bunch of these uh, uh, Stampin' Up! sells them as blanks, so they have no color on them. And I have ordered uh, 24 different colors to begin with to make my own Stampin' Spots in the colors, the Stampin' Up! colors, and they will all fit in this tray. And that is my current strategy for storing my ink pads in our trailer that we live in. Now I'm going to talk about re-inkers. For the Distress inks, I was collecting the re-inkers when I had the full-size pads. I keep them in a case. They look like an old-fashioned medicine bottle with an actual teardropper. They're glass. They're actually quite heavy. And they literally are like an old-fashioned medicine uh, dispenser. So I have collected 20 of them and I think there's 48 colors. I store them in a plastic container that's velcroed. This is by Totally Tiffany. 
and all of my soft storage is clear so that I can actually see what's inside them. But these are heavy, so I stopped collecting the refills. And um, so far, I've been traveling. I've actually lived in the trailer since last June, so a year and two months. And I have yet to, with one of these mini, mini cubes, need to refill any ink. So for the Memento, I was actually very happy with the uh, footprint of the reinkers. So the Memento reinkers fit in a totally Tiffany bag that is, um, I think this is like something for ribbon, um, but you can see that they fit four deep. I have all 36 of them. They are very small, compact. When you open them up, it has a little a little dropper. You just turn it upside down and you drop the ink on. So I was much more comfortable investing in every single reinker up front. I bought them on sale from Joann's for half off. Even the totally Tiffany bags that I bought. I even um, on the bottom here you can see that I put the colors, but I used some really old uh, white stick them dots and they're not very sticky so I need to actually take these all out and add some some zots dots underneath each of the white ones that have moved and replace them properly in their space so those are my strategy what I have coming for Stampin Up are the blank spot cubes that are uninked as well as I've ordered 24 of the Stampin' Up! reinkers. The Stampin' Up! reinkers, of which I have a few already, are actually smaller. I didn't dig any of them out, but they are the size, like the Memento, with the plastic versus glass and with a dropper on top. So they're very compact, lightweight, and easy to use. Thanks for watching.